Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. It's day two out here at Badger Lake with uh, Bennett and his dad from Mainstream Angling. Had a great day fishing yesterday and now we are going to try to get back out there before the breeze picks up, which is supposed to happen later this morning. The fog is out on the water, uh, but it's going to burn off pretty fast. The sun's just coming up. It's uh, about six o'clock in the morning and we're going to try to get some, uh, some more fish in the boat. So let's just get right to the action. All right, everybody. So we move locations here, start the day off where there's no wind. And uh, beautiful morning out here. Well, 6.45 now. And uh, we're going to go chase some pike. Now let's get on them. Just picked up the first one of the day. A catch. There we go. That is not 19 for this trip. And there it goes. Barely hooked. Oh, awesome. All right, we got another one. Small one but significant, hard to see against the sun there. Significant because it's number 20. Yeah, a little tiny one. I'm gonna touch the leader and gone. All right, you guys, this is a very significant fish. So I need to land it. Cause this would be my 21st fish of this trip, but more importantly, pike number 1000 for angling spiders. I have got to land this thing, so I need to net it. It's pretty, it's pretty well hooked. And there we go. Pike number 1000 for angling spiders. How cool is that? Oh, it was definitely not getting off. All right, you guys, there it is. <laughs> our 1,000th pike on angling spiders. And I'm gonna measure it just because 23 inches. There it is in the sunlight, beautiful fish. Ha ha, awesome. I did switch over to a crankbait because, ah, nice. Um, my hookup rate wasn't that great. This morning I was losing quite a few, so I switched over to the crankbait. That's a decent size one, actually. And I think it's well hooked. Oh, love it when they peel drag like that. Yeah, he's well hooked. Hook deep. Okay, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna have to get clamps on this one. The fishing has been slow. What a tale of two different days here, you guys. Uh, yesterday we we're just hammering them. Today you really got to work for it. And uh, yeah, this is my fifth of the day, so still not bad, but uh, comparatively, just a, a totally different day. And I think. A good reason for that is there's a weather system coming in later this afternoon. We needed to be out of here by about uh, noon because there's a thunderstorm system coming in. And I think that, that between the combination of the, the wind and the pressure, the fishing has just changed. There we go. I 
sure are lively. Oh, there's a nice run. And there we go, number six. As you guys, little tiny one, but it's a fish, number six for the day. All right. Fish number seven today, if I can land it. Good fight. Good fight. I like a better one. seen it yet. There's a good run. Yeah, that's a, that's a scrapper. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's definitely my best fish of the day so far. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's a massive walleye. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> this is my second largest walleye ever, you guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that, you guys. That is almost as big as the last one I got. Seriously. That is a massive, massive walleye. What a fight, what a fish, holy thick. That fish is 30 inches. You guys, that is a 30 inch walleye. And I don't have my weigh scale on me right now but I would say nine pounds. <laughs> Unreal. All right, everybody. Just caught the second biggest walleye I have ever caught in my life. This is a 30 inch, nine and a half pound walleye. Thought it was a pike. Uh, man, do I love this lake. Uh, woo! <laughs> that is getting it done right there. Woo! We're gonna get this one released. Nice hit here. I don't think it's that big, but. And as you guys can see, the wind has now completely calmed down. Conditions have changed significantly. I think it's the calm before the front comes in. That's a nice pike. And that would be my seventh for the day. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it. Um, as you can see, it actually turned out to be a beautiful morning out here. I think that's gonna change a little bit in the afternoon here when there's a storm system that moves in, but it did calm down, but I am bagged. Um, lots of paddling over the last day. And so I'm gonna call it there. Um, so on day two, I think I got seven or eight pike. I'll have to check the footage. And that one beautiful walleye. Um, and that's a great enough way to end it for me. So looking forward to seeing uh, what I get up to next, I guess. But uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, smash that like button, hit subscribe. And until next time, good fishing.